everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is slightly different because I'm doing a collaboration with the lovely Hayley over at Mummy Cooks Homemade. Over on Mummy Cooks Homemade, Hayley does loads of really lovely family recipes. She does grocery hauls, she does meals of the week videos. Um, so yeah, quite a similar sort of content. So if you enjoy watching um, what people buy for their groceries and what they cook for dinner and things like that and get some meal inspiration for your family I think you'll love Hayley's channel so give her a, a watch and a subscribe as well and yeah I don't think you'll be disappointed she's got some really lovely recipes over there they always look super tasty so yeah and there's loads to work your way through so go and give that a look decided to do a five pound fake away to feed your family so after you've watched my video i will leave her channel link down below so don't forget to head over and check out her video as well and if you like what you see subscribe to her channel also and yeah um i've come up with a really fresh summery fake away to feed your family and you could do it in your kitchen but you could also cook it on the barbecue for those rare sunny days we get in the uk so yeah, it's a really good one for summer and a bargain at £5. So keep watching to find out what I've cooked. Okay, so for this recipe, obviously you're going to need chicken. I've gone for chicken thigh because I find it marinades really well. And then when you sort of grill it, it doesn't go too dry. But you can use breast if you prefer. Also, chicken thigh is a lot more reasonably priced. So this was £3 for 600 grams. So that was really reasonable. So you've got the chicken. And then to marinate the chicken, you're going to use 100 grams of just natural yogurt. You could go for fat free if you wanted to. I just went for the normal whole milk natural yogurt. And um, this was only, I think, about 50p. And there's 500 grams in there. So we actually only need 100 grams um, to marinate the chicken. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad either. And then you need the juice and zest of one lemon. So I've got a lemon there. And then lots of store cupboardy bits. So you need a teaspoon of mixed herbs. You need half a teaspoon of cumin. You need one and a half teaspoons of paprika. And then you need, it says three garlic cloves. So I've got some of this fresh garlic I'm going to use up. And, and then I'm also going to just use some of this garlic meal just to grind a little bit of that in as well if I haven't got quite three cloves um, in there. So... You just need the juice and zest of one lemon so i'm just going to go around and get the zest in there and then just go in there with your lemon juice as well this is a really good fresh sort of summery one and you can't beat a kebab if you're having a Take away or take away. Okay, so that's all the herbs and spices. And then I'm just going to go in with about 100 grams. Obviously, it doesn't need to be spot on because it's only for marinating. But about 100 grams. I'm going to give that a good mix up. And then I'm just going to kind of half the, or maybe quarter these thighs and pop them into the marinade. So once you've chopped your chicken up a bit, you just need to mix it through the marinade, get it all combed, coated in all of them lovely herbs and spices. 
And obviously the yogurt and the lemon will really sort of tenderize the meat as well. And give it a really good mix so it's all coated. And then I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge actually for the afternoon to marinate. So it's gonna be in there probably a good sort of five hours or so, but um, you could do it the day before and leave it, or if you were wanting to do it when you got home from work, or you could just leave it for an hour or so and then sort of do it. But I'm gonna leave it until I'm ready for it later. chicken onto some metal skewers you can use wooden ones but you need to soak them so that they don't burn and then I'm just going to pop these onto my foiled tray and pop them under the grill um, you can oven them or you could barbecue them but I'm just going to grill them so they get nice and crispy and then I will show you the sides Okay, the first thing I'm going to make is some tzatziki. So you just need some cucumber, which you coarsely grate. So just need to kind of give that a bit of a squeeze. See it and get a lot of that water out. So it's not too wet. And I'm just going to put that cucumber in the bowl. Then I'm just going to give it a grind of this garlic. And use fresh garlic as well if you want to. A nice grind of black pepper. And then I've got a small bunch of mint leaves that actually grow outside in our front garden. So I'm just going to give those a chop. And pop that in with the cucumber and the garlic. I'm just going to go in with a couple of spoonfuls of the yogurt. So you could use Greek yogurt, um, which would probably be a bit more authentic, but Lidl just had natural yogurt, so that's what I went with. that a good mix you just want you know a couple of spoonfuls just so it's saucy other thing um that i'm going to serve it with is just some salad so i've got some <laughs> romaine lettuce here boys don't really like lettuce too much they'll probably have cucumber and pepper in there but i'm gonna do some red pepper a really nice one for summer and if you're having a barbecue or whatever you could do like loads of salad and bits to go with it um it's sort of a guilt-free kind of tasty treat really and then <clears throat> it's gonna do some cucumber as well so you could add if you didn't like tzatziki you could have hummus okay, so i've got my salad and my tzatziki The other thing you need is just some pitters or flatbreads and I'm just going to warm these through in the oven and then serve them here with the chicken. Okay, so we've just got the um, chicken sheesh skewers there with some mixed salad and some tzatziki and some flatbreads. So yeah, I'll show you in a sec when it's all plated up. But apart from leaving it to marinade, it's really easy and really tasty and a great one for summer. So I hope that's been helpful, guys.
obviously don't forget to go over to Hayley at Mummy Cooks Homemade and check out her fake away recipe too and yeah thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye